Alden Dow's vision was the, really the beginning. Mr. Dow could see that we were going to begin to struggle because we were not growing and thinking big enough, perhaps. There are some people that you meet and when you're in the presence of them, you just kind of feel special. And, you know, my grandfather was one of those people. He was a man who would sit quietly and observe, but then when he spoke, everybody listened. He was a visionary, and I know people use that word often, but some people are true visionaries. The vision for the center 50 years ago was to encourage creativity on a community-wide scale. You know, many of these people, most of them, I think, were really scientists and engineers, right, during their day job. But at night, it's orchestra, it's choir, it's singing groups and plays. And that's what the center was meant to be. It was meant to house all of that so that people could come and participate and appreciate art. It's a community that really is based in engineering and science, but yet there's such a strong appreciation for the arts. It really makes sense. It almost seems organic that it was to be here. There's such a strong sense of culture. You have to nurture your artistic side. The creative side is very important. That's what the center allows for. That's the big laboratory in which we can combine these elements. And when you combine those elements, you get the, the reactions that are inevitable. I mean, whether you go and watch a, a show or see an exhibit, you're learning something new. It makes you feel alive. The arts create an atmosphere in the community. They create an ambiance. They create a place that, for people like to live. You can see yourself represented on the stage. You can feel that you have a home in the arts and cultural environment that is in the community. It really brings a community together. We have done more to become more relevant to more people for a broader range of audience and region, and that serves our mission. My first season here, it was literally asked of me to put my lived experience as a creative and even as a black man in America. Not only is that freeing, um, it is liberating, and it also uh, validates and it sees. So I feel seen when I am able to bring what I have lived with, what I have experienced uh, to this center. The vision for the Center of the Arts, right, was to be that center where people could come and congregate and experience cultural activities while also being an economic driver in the community. And I would say that vision is still spot on. When I look at the names of the people on the original discussion committee, the founding committee, if you will, I think that they would be utterly astounded at the way that the center has grown. If we didn't have the center, I think our, our community would be a lot less bright as it is today. It's just, it's something that really is a differentiator. Next 50 years? Woohoo! The next 50 years. The next 50 years, I would love to see the Center for the Arts be a nationwide destination and a model for the country and the world. A growing interest on the part of up and coming young professionals who live in this town, young families who live in this town. I hope we can make it the kind of in thing to do. As all of us look forward to 50 more years and further, that we, as this organizational family, never lose sight of ourselves, never lose sight of the people that we initially were looking to engage, and are always looking forward to engaging with new. The center is that place, it's that occasion, it's the event that draws you out to come and be with other people and all of you are appreciating the same things or learning the same things or performing. That was the vision then uh, and it's still the mission now. We just need to be mindful of the humans that we're evolving with and to allow the art to evolve with it. And if we do that, if we're respectful of the humans creating, performing, uh, experiencing the art, we'll live on forever.